Power Star, you played one of the coolest bad boys ever. Woody McLean claims that following his role as Bobby Brown in two miniseries, Jamie Foxx's advice helped his career take off. Actor Woody McLean of Power Book 2, Ghost has talked openly about some career-changing advice he got from seasoned performer Jamie Foxx. On 50 Cent's Power spin-off, McLean plays Kane Tejada, and he acknowledges that without the advice of the seasoned actor, who was admitted to the hospital about four weeks ago, he might not have advanced this far in his career. During an interview about his acting career for P.O.P.S. U.G.A.R.'s Q in a series Last Call, McLean said, Jamie's such a great guy, man. Prayers for Jamie, too. For those who don't know, McLean went to Los Angeles in 2015 and started working as a background dancer for performers like Chris Brown and Genuine. The 33-year-old is also well-recognized for posting humorous sketches on social media, a talent that has previously helped him receive notoriety from stars like Kevin Hart. Later, they worked together on Hart's Laugh Out Loud Network Stories with Kev series. The role of Bobby Brown in the Bet miniseries The New Edition Story in 2017 was what would make McLean famous. Because of McLean's excellent work in the three-part miniseries, Brown opted to employ him in his own biopic, the 2018 miniseries The Bobby Brown Story. Although he gained unexpected expected celebrity because to his superb portrayal of the boy band member, this part gradually came to be the only one people associated him with. McLean recounted, I remember being at Jamie Foxx's place. I was merely in the corner. Bobby, Bobby, everyone kept saying, that's something I've heard a million times over. However, I recall Jamie approaching me. He claimed that Fox assisted him in seeing this as an affirmation of his acting rather than a criticism. I observed you kind of dim your light every time someone says that, he said. You can't do that, McLean remarked. He asserts that Fox may identify with him because he was once only recognized for his part as Wanda, sometimes known as the ugliest woman in the world, on the 1990s comedy sketch program in Living Color. People start saying things like, hey, yo, you that be that be, right you. Fox allegedly stated, You've got to realize that you played one of the hippest cats to ever play the R&B game. One of the coolest bad boys you've ever played was you. In the category of outstanding actor in a television movie, limited series, or dramatic special, McLean received an NAACP Image Award nomination. He continued by saying that the singer's suggestion was to embrace it rather than shy away from that. The 55-year-old is said to have said to him, until you embrace it, then you won't be able to move on. You'll receive more items. There will be more things. You're going to do fantastically. Since McLean received his first significant acting part in one of the most well-liked television programs years later, it would seem that Fox knew what he was talking about. The first person to post information on her father's condition on Instagram was Fox's daughter, who noted that the family had requested privacy. Kevin Hart revealed that Fox is getting better and clarified why information about him hasn't been made public from Fox's inner circle during an interview on the Impulsive podcast last week. Because Jamie has always been somewhat of a recluse, Hart said, they're being tight for reasons just about where he is. While details on Fox's health have been scarce, he recently posted on Instagram to express his gratitude for all the love from the public. Nick Cannon has taken over as the host of Jamie Foxx's well-known game show, Beat Shazam, which airs on Fox Network following his illness. The Grammy-winning musician's 29-year-old daughter serves as the game show's DJ. Kelly Osbourne is currently filling Corrine's position.